As the world's population increases, more and more people are living near the coast. Offshore, coral reefs are subjected to an increasing level of artificial light at night. In our homes, rooms that never really get dark cause the same sort of stress. So, does artificial light at night help or hurt wild fish? Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Men, and this week we're talking about a paper published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society titled Long-Term Exposure to Artificial Light at Night in the Wild Decreases Survival and Growth of a Coral Reef Fish. There has been a lot of research on this over the years, and the results are widely varied. With nearly 10% of the world's population, that's over 600 million people living near the world's coastlines, the level of light pollution being spilled out into the water is going to increase over time. There are studies looking at the effect of keeping fish with light on 100% of the time. They've found that the growth of the fish increases. They've found that the growth of the fish decreases. Other studies have found no effect on the fish at all, or even different responses in different species of fish. So in this study, which took place over about 20 months, the team collected clownfish eggs from a lagoon in French Polynesia. They raised the larvae in their lab and then put the juvenile clownfish into Heteractus magnifica anemones that were spaced out into individual territories for the fish. Each anemone received one clownfish, 42 in total. They used freshly placed anemones just to lessen the chances of a new fish being kicked out of an already occupied anemone. Three groups of territories received some level of artificial light at night. And then, of course, there were matching control groups that had similar reef structure, but no artificial light at night. Artificial light at night can lower survival rates due to the ability of predators to better see the fish at night. It can increase growth because the clownfish are able to see plankton, their main food source, throughout the night and you know, therefore they get more food perhaps. It can reduce growth and the overall health of clownfish because, well, they might suffer from sleep deprivation. Clownfish naturally have a high mortality rate when they're young. That's why they lay so many eggs. If all of those eggs survived, the ocean would be overrun with clownfish. So the team is monitoring the study's clownfish at several points throughout their juvenile life. They monitored them about one month after placement into the anemones, then again about two months later when the fish would be immature adults, and about 15 months into the study when the fish would just be reaching maturity, and then finally about 20 months into the study as adult fish. If an anemone was empty, they counted that as a mortality event. If the anemone itself was gone, they didn't count it as a mortality event for the fish because it's impossible to know if the fish died or maybe the anemone itself died and then the fish found a new anemone to host in. The light level in the light polluted locations was on average 143 times more intense than the moonlight at the control locations. Only about one third of the clownfish survived till the end of the study. The fish in locations which were subjected to artificial light at night were 36% more likely to have died. The fish in these locations also had a slower rate of growth, 15% lower compared to the control fish. By weight, their growth rate was 51% lower. So the light polluted fish are certainly not getting more food due to having light available at night. Now in our aquariums, of course, our fish usually don't have to deal with natural predators. So we can be thankful at least that the light leaking into our tanks isn't going to give some other fish a fin up on our prized clownfish, you know, while they're sleeping. But we should perhaps worry about the effects of sleep deprivation though. And certainly our coral and acropora for sure would appreciate some dark time. Optimal growth in people and in fish requires a period of inactivity. We have to sleep. It turns out, so do fish. Other studies have looked at the effect of keeping clownfish in tanks with the lights always on. 
and they found a reduced growth rate. Maybe this is due to a reduction in metabolism caused by a lack of sleep. Check out the paper if you're interested in more of the details. As always, there is a link down below in the description where you can find the paper, so give it a read. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then subscribe and you'll get more like it. Be kind to each other. Have a fantastic day. Bye.